No, thank you. How far we got, Lynette? Um, fifty-ish meters. Roger. Yeah, I think I'll start moving the ship west. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we have one hundred meters west, please? Thank you. Yeah, just gonna let them get going, see how it looks. Go ahead, bridge. Yeah, we could do even more if you think we can. One knot, if possible. Perfect. Sounds good, thank you. Probably, are they gonna turn well, in point seven is best, unless they wanna turn their heading. So otherwise the wire gets sucked under the transom. Ah, uh, I got you. Okay. So point seven for now. It's okay. Fine. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. Bridge nav. Point seven is good for speed. We don't need to go faster. Thank you. All right. I'm stretched out tail to tail. <coughs> What do you think Rennie's birthday cake flavor will be? Vegan. Are they all vegan, the cakes? No. Is Rennie vegan? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not anymore. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I didn't know that, like, officially? He or like saw the light, did he? I think on the ship, officially. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's like, eggs and mm. some dairy. It's I hard think. to live on here at Vegan. Yeah, yeah we're really on the ship. Hard. Yeah, I can see how that would be unpleasant at times. Mm -hmm. It's hard to live on here as a snacks addict. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely gonna have to bring a separate duffel full of snacks next time I come. Especially if I have the night shift. Yeah. I ran out in week two. 
<laughs> I didn't bring any. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there would be cereal. Or right, we look at this like as well. I think we're okay. Yeah. Um, AJ, can you see the high pack screen? Yeah. Are you okay to call the transect here? Yeah, how far yeah. have we come since the start? Like, so There's the question. How far is the straight line, I guess? I mean, it looks Stand pretty by. faithful, you know. Pretty faithful to the line. Yeah, I'm just <coughs> curious. 147.06 all the way. Yeah, I don't know how far it you want to measure one, this. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, it was one more than that, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, I you, I think we started even up here. here. North. Yeah. Great job, uh, pilots. 480 that meters. A lot of yeah. patience yeah. To That's do. pretty good. Thank you. We get, get turned around, stopped. Yeah. Yep. Happy to call that. Okay. If, especially if Atlanta is starting to move west. Yeah, we're close to 500 meters there. Yeah, there we go. That's what I needed to hear. Okay. Going west. And the transect. Yep. Confirmed. Let's boogie. Boogie 0.7 knots. Yeah. Boogie. The shot I'm heading down. off for a moment. Wee. Ooh, yeah, that might be a bit more difficult than we think, eh? To get over there? Get round, yeah. Yeah, good luck. Might have to back down first. Yep. <coughs> I think you can make a turn now. Come on, Ron. Could you come to port? As um, I say, have you already gone? Don't worry about it if you're already no, gone. No, no, it's okay. I can I can do that because I'm, I'm back to zero turns here. Yeah, Roger, because once we get around, I'll spin to port as well and yep. take out whatever wrap you put in. But I'll hold here for now. Alright. If I look up, I'll probably see that bloody tether. Totally, yeah, I'm coming up. <laughs> You're pretty stretched out. You're definitely going to get tugged. Yeah, I'm slowing down now. It's alright, I can come and shoot into you. Yeah, right on. Bridge nav. Can we have 100 meters west, please? Thank you. I'm going to turn off some Atalanta lights. Mm -hmm. So I can find myself a Hercules. One more. Darkness falls. I'm still a ways behind you yet. Yeah. Here we go. I want to track up to you as well. Yeah, Roger. That separation down a bit. It's awfully slow from there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm looking. Upside down, backwards. Very disorienting view. I'm going 
turn on the light again here. Hey Van, um, what's the consensus on best drying machine? Is it the middle one? Drying machine? Yeah, the dryer. Oh, dryer. Well, if I told you, then everyone would use it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you did tell me. No. Yeah, all right, got it. Here you loud and clear, Trevor. I can tell you it's not the one on the far end. The <laughs> middle dryer. The one on the far end is not it. <laughs> all right, thanks. There's Dave. a, we have a on the back deck stretched from about the social deck all the way to the A-frame is a nice clothesline you could hang them on. Is there really? Yeah, 0.681 of an inch in diameter. It's a little greasy. It's pretty strong though. You can hang everything off of it. Yeah, my, pa my pants are already greasy though, so. Yeah, it's fine then. What are those? With their, oh yeah, we've seen those with their like tails up. Beaver. The subsea Canadian beaver. Subsea Canadian beaver. Oh dear, what's he got? Thank you. Thanks for the kiss, Josh. Oh, <laughs> last time you asked that, it didn't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Behave yourselves. I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, so sweet. And Thank you, Mal and I. That's that runaway thing you were talking about. Yeah. You're welcome. So nice. Everyone deserves a kiss. Yeah. Perfect for him. I'm thinking of that commercial. For every now. kiss was made with cave. Can we have another 100 meters west, please? Thank you. Trying to close in more on you. But I guess you just, if I keep coming, you're just going to keep drifting away, aren't you?
Hey, how'd the mooring recovery go last night? I think it went really well. Cool. I didn't hear anything terrible about it, so. That's good. Yeah. No news is good news, maybe. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think it took about five hours. Five hours, yeah. Process. Five hours. Yeah. Roger. It was 500 meters long, though. Yeah, 100 meters an hour. That sounds about right. Isn't that how long it took last Yesterday's night? Yesterday's morning recovery. Yeah. I think we budgeted like four. We're kind of on time. Maybe start mm -hmm. a little late. A little late. Yeah. Roger. Bridge now. Can we have another 100 meters west? Thank you. Maybe it was five. Yeah. We gotta go we start all four? that way. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was later. By the time they were paying the fees, it was 6. Mm -hmm. it was probably 6.30 at the latest, Dave. Yeah. Somebody doesn't know how to tell the time. Well, we still got any hours until 6.30 yeah. UTC, so pick your time zone. <laughs> yeah, it's 6.30 somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that transect went a little long. Mm -hmm. I That's think okay. the transect itself was maybe like an hour, but... Now yeah, we gotta get back. The, yeah. And the setting up and the turn and all that. Yep, there's always delays in that. Yeah. Well, lesson learned. I'll add it to my list. For science. For the greater yeah. understanding of our benthic community. Yeah, it would be good. What do we think? It was like two uh, two hours overall? Yeah, I think so. How long did you budget? 30 we minutes. Had, we had one hour on our thing, but I think it's actually more like two. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we started at around 11.50 UTC, so yeah, just around two hours. Yeah. We talked about this a little bit, AJ. It takes about f five minutes per thousand meters to see a finished move from the ship at this uh, at depth. Yeah, so every you're time you move the ship, it's like 15 minutes almost. Yeah, exactly. So you, you move the ship. The Seattle to move. Yeah, or if Seattle had to finish moving. Yeah. That's super rough, of course, but order of magnitude. Yeah, like if we were doing the transect at Barkley, it would be a little bit more responsive. Mm -hmm. That's all right, though, because you guys are going to be super quick with this hydraulic cutter, right? Sip, sip. Well, that's all we're doing is just grab the cutter and snip, snip, and go. Grab the cutter, snip, snip, and get out of there. So, Roger. Probably want to set the ship up so that it can, <coughs> like, its orientation might be good, right? Because we can cut the far one, and then we can just move east. Are we cutting both moorings? Just the far one. Oh, not so just there's two cuts on there. There's two cuts. Yeah, yeah. But it's one more. Don't hang me. And once it's cut, you're free to ascend. So, Roger. Your exit strategy could be like up and out. Yeah, and we'll stow the thing once we're up in the water. You think the hydraulic hose can carry the weight of it, or if you drop no. it, you think it'll rip the hose? We have uh, some line tied to it. Oh, nice. Take the load that is shorter than the hydraulic hose. I do think the hydraulic hose could take the load, I but so I don't too, want to test it. Yeah, that's good practice. Yeah. Hey, video. Yeah. Um, the stills camera mm -hmm. folder nonsense. Is it you who manages that? It is not. Who manages that? Um, I am unsure. Potentially Justin? Justin. I Justin. think he showed it to me. <coughs> okay. Maybe I'll talk to Justin because I think I like I think I put all of these photos in a folder labeled the last dive number, not this dive number. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a, a Justin question. Yeah. I wanted and to then they disappeared over. later? Um, they I don't get know if they like sorted into some other <laughs> hidden I folder. I know that that happened in the past. I haven't actually checked to see if that happened uh, to this one yet. That's what I was noticing. 
Is that after Atalanta Cam no. just had something crazy fly in front of it. it oh, that was a Tina 4. Tina Melanoma, 4. Yeah. Which uh, you can tell from their rainbow patterns. Watching AJ is like watching Willy Wonka go through all the keys on his key ring. Why? What is he doing? Do you have a key ring? I I'm just don't remember that part I'm of the just movie. Just clicking through the different computers to try to figure out which one is the stills camera. <laughs> now I'm just imagining the sequel to Willy Wonka where he's locked out of his chocolate factory. Bridge nav. Oh, here we go. This one says still cam. Maybe I should use my eyes. One hundred west, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, Mel and I? Oh, yeah, they did disappear. Yeah. Did yeah. you say 100 less? But I got the wrong thing, West. and also the okay. auto <laughs> naming, like this auto name. We're not here, going back east. Yeah. It's also incorrect, so I don't even know how to change you this. See how much closer uh, in the right uh, folder. I'm going to the list of the transom wrong. now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, in wire oh, yeah. yeah. Dirk knows how to yeah. do that, but I don't. It's not danger close, but it is. You yeah, just have to go point. in and, and find them. Got to yeah. hack the main yeah, frame. Fine. Yeah. Manually yeah, change that. Oh, there's a ray. Empty. That's the first oh. kind of different thing we've seen. Down but it's here, not part yeah. of the video survey. This data yeah. is garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a random direction. Yeah. Well, oh, hey, you guys have the stills camera up on your. That's helpful. Yeah. Dirk uses the still cam so much. I know, he's in love with the still cam. Yeah. I told him to marry the still cam. He Is he allowed to do that? I, in the, I don't know. It depends on the state, I think. State of confusion? What was that, Melanie? I was going to say that when it gets really uh, silty and like the dust clouds come up, the still cam can probably still see some things that... It is sometimes a cams. really helpful for you. It was really useful for the gas tights, I, don't like I it. thought. It was a really nice view. You could actually see the probe going into the hot vent most, it, it's most just of the like time. A, it's like a third angle. So if your bubble and view. your main cam are both blocked, your still cam might be available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was also really helpful when that oily was pinched. And we were trying to see how pinned in the rock it was. Is it? It's uh, like a yeah. little, little better of, of a downward angle. I have a random question. Well. Shoot. What are you going to bring next time that you didn't bring this time? Snacks. Yeah, like twice the snacks. I think. So many snacks, like chocolate, cookies, yeah. maple cookies. Yeah. Yes, maple cookies. Rice Soda crispy waters. squares. Yeah. I don't think everybody's My own coffee. Mine. Just Bub snacks. Bubblies. I bring Via coffees, like the Starbucks Instant that you the have. The Instant ones. For time when I don't feel yeah. like making a giant mess all over the counter. Melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I thought I had it packed. I thought, because I keep, <laughs> I keep a pill jar that's just like completely random pills in it. Yeah, but I do. Know you? I do, yeah. So it's just like random. I know what they all are. Okay. <laughs> or you at do least know? I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> With like medium confidence, I know. That's <laughs> just going to pop some random pills today. Pill roulette today. Is that a big today. octopus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. It is an octopus. I think we should have a look at this. What do you oh. think? Yeah, we're, we're waiting, waiting on the, the ship, ship anyway. We should go check it out. Mm -hmm. This could be the one that we I saw I realized it was not an SPL. That's a fantastic plan. Mm. We saw one just like this yesterday staring at Sticks us. Sticks locked. I know. Oh, just We're not waiting on the ship. Ship's way ahead of us. Yeah, you're waiting on me. Which is the ship. Oh, yeah, I guess. You want to go back? Not now. <laughs> it's too, Don't turn back. It's too late. We saw, <laughs> I think we saw that exact octopus yesterday. 
Yeah. He's yeah, making we, saw, octopus. we saw a couple. Anyway. I saw one when I was snorkeling in Hawaii, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like close up? Yeah. Well, did you grab it? I did not. That would be so mean. What? It was kind of being really, like, timid. Like, it wasn't moving. Maybe it was, like, asleep or something. We watched it for a really long time, and then we were about to go because we were freezing cold. And... Uh, and I was like, no, let's watch a little longer. And then it like woke up and it started to like move and it would swim really quick over to like a thing, like a rock, and then change cool. color. And then are you scared? Really it? close, like over to another rock and change color. Yeah, there were a lot of snorkelers around. Might have yeah, been. that's sweet. Might well, have been a little scared. My best friend would have had Bridge a stick now. in hand, poked 50 it, fifty west, please. grabbed it, Thank so you. played with it. That's, that doesn't feel very nice. Like we're, the, does we're he? guests in Hawaii. The, we're not going to go like poking your octopus yeah. <laughs> with sticks. I'm really grateful that you don't won't do that. <laughs> Next time you come, let me know, and then, then, then we can go poke some. Anymore. I'll be <clears throat> it's a really local thing to um, poke. Like there's like stickers. Oh, really? Yeah. Just don't poke the octopus? No, like let's go poke. Octopus. Or like I poked an octopus. Is that like okay. the cow? <laughs> yeah. That's like the cow tipping of Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Among other tipping. things, yes. Do you know what cow tipping is, Mal and I? <laughs> yes and no. I mostly only know what it is from movies. Yeah. I can't say I've ever been cow tipping. No. <clears throat> Annette, have you ever been cow tipping? Cow tipping. <laughs> Lynette just laughed. That tells me she has. Sit, sits in silent. I've heard it's pretty. It's actually much more cruel than it sounds. Yeah, because it like it's fall really over bags. way too much. That's so yeah. mean. It's so mean. It like breaks the ribs. Yeah. It can. Yeah. It can. Yeah. Not necessarily, but it. Yeah. Crush under their own weight. That's very sad. But the funny thing is when someone tries to do it on their own. <laughs> run full head of steam into a side of a cow and obviously like bounce off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we're swinging right into a field of Josh and his wakeboarding bros would do. <laughs> oh, good. Where, okay. Which one are we okay. going to here? The one way on the opposite side. So we're going to weave through the forest of moorings. Okay. There's only two. Excellent. There's only forest. those two. Forest. Two trees in a forest, they say. Yeah. Nope, that's not. Two it's peas in a pod. It takes two to forest. <laughs> it takes two to forest. <laughs> Do you want me to come back east? Nope. Okay. Where's the other one? Yeah, where is south the other of us, one? isn't it? Should be yeah, to the south. southeast. Yeah, so if you like Down that the white, southeast. the white line goes to the first one and then to the second oh, one. Oh, I see. Oh, we're good. We should be well clear. All good. Wait, I need more. This is not enough. Yeah. Okay. That is funny when people whisper on SPL. Yeah, I've noticed that. I whisper so everybody can still hear. It's my way of trying to not get out of my over. head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have two ears? No. Well, some of you guys have two ears. I like to think we all Most have two ears. Most of us have two ears. Yeah. I've only got the one ear. Most of us have two ears. You only have one ear, AJ? Yeah. <laughs> Start calling you Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> one ear in SPL. The other to the world. I uh, I should put a headphone in the other ear. That's what I should do. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Nearly breakfast time. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for breakfast. Hey, this is good. We'll do ops during breakfast like normal. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, you'll just be ascending by breakfast. We'll be snipping at breakfast. Yeah, we still got a ways to run here. Like about a week. Mm. No, don't say that. Settle in. <laughs> <laughs> How
How quickly do you ascend? What rate? 22 meters per minute. All right, so it's like 100 and, yeah, it's like 120 minutes, call isn't it, it? Call it two hours, yeah. Two yeah, hours. Two hours. Approximately. So we are not going to make our 8.30 on deck. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Megan's going to kill me. But Steve, oh, Steve is going to love you. No, <laughs> Steve, Steve does not love me. But you just gave him two really good... Has he still not forgiven you for the dodgy directions, look? Yeah, him and I are not on speaking <laughs> terms right <laughs> now. Uh-oh. <laughs> but you got some video transects for him, so I think that's... I'm not sure know. these are for him. Cast yeah. media? No. I just assume it's science and it's him. Fabio? I'm assuming Fabio. Oh. Well, you and Fabio are on speaking terms, so that's good. Yeah. Extra on speaking terms. What's that? Rat tail. Could oh, be isn't there like a an orb? On yeah. the left. Yeah, an on the orb. left. I don't know. Don't know what that was. It looked like a Pikachu um, thing that they put the Pokemon into. The Pokeball? Poke ball? Like, yeah, the Pokeball. Pokemon nobody's been able to find. <laughs> Is it a Pokeball yeah. or a Pokeball? <laughs> Pokemon? A Pokeball? <laughs> Pokeball. <laughs> I could go for some Poke right now. What's your favorite kind of Poke? Uh, I like the... Um, yeah, I like the marinated, like, I guess, any tuna, bluefin, ahi, whatever. Um, but, like, marinated in soy sauce. There's a really good poke place in Duncan. They do Hawaiian poke and Hawaiian uh, uh, hamburgers. Ooh, what's a Hawaiian hamburger? I don't know, they call it, it's called Kahuna Burger. I bet it has a slice of pineapple on it. I think they do like a, like a pineapple chutney or something. Is that a real thing, Mal and I? Like, I doubt, I, I think that's just what people that want to think they're Hawaiian do. Oh, I met the owner and he seemed like he went to Hawaii for a long time to like train. Oh, that was a sea pen, was it? It's pretty big. Oh. No way to know. Something's going through the thruster anyway. I think I saw that approach the thruster. And I was thinking about it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Is that us? That's a cork, I think. Cork? Yeah, that's a bit big. <coughs> it's in a big hole. 22 meters. We'll Incoming cork. Which, which one of these is us? What we're going for? Or is it mm. further on? Yeah, the yeah. cork is east okay. of the IP, so much. you might be coming it's up this. on the cork. Yeah, yeah. we're coming up on right, cork. Cool. <coughs> yep. Yep. 15 meters to cork. Yeah. Could be slightly off to the port side. We'll see. There's the big old. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yep. It's the whole time. Not me. No. What are we talking about? It's me. Yeah. What happened? That's a big hole. It's a cork hole. That's a big Corkle. hole. I've never seen this uh, this site. Can we look at it for a second? Want to have a look? Yeah, it's just for a second. I'm still waiting on Atalanta, so. Yeah. <coughs> it, uh, oh, Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. What wow. Um, is that? Do there is a hole in the bottom like, of the sea. Did someone excavate That's this? That's crazy. I mean, maybe when they originally installed the cork. I don't remember it being in a, like, I know it's in a hole, but I didn't remember it being, in, like, in a hole in a oh. hole. <laughs> when you said a cork, I thought, like, a big chunk of cork. No, no. it's Cir five meters across. Circulation, we picked it up yesterday, circulation, obviation, 
retrofit kit. It's like a scientific, it's plugged in. You can see the cable runs to our IP. Yeah. It's like uh, monitors. Okay. Boreholes. This How could use a T boss. Mm. It monitors right. wormholes. You want that cleaning with the bog wormholes. brush? You're more than welcome to make a start. What's that? She said it needs a T boss. Oh. <laughs> We will not be T-bossing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a five-hour T-boss job. Uh, You're gonna need more than one. All right, on the move. Thermal and pressure characteristics of subsea floor hydrology. Hydrology. So lots of that around here. Lots of hydrology? Yeah. Ooh, that's way too that fast. That was the re-entry cone that we were looking yeah. at. I just hauled in way too fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Re-entry cone? What, did it come from space? Yeah. It re-entered from outer space, and Neat. that's where it landed. Neat. And Superman was inside. Really? Wow. Uh, that's kind of the direction we want to be going. One of the first gone. corks was installed in 1991. That's how old these things are. Are they still working? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's pretty impressive. I'm sure, if it wasn't, we would have repurposed the oily or something. Right. Was that put in 1991? Was this cabled network installed in 1991? No, it, w it had a data logger, so it would have been autonomous until... But the reason we chose these sites for Cascadia was because the corks <coughs> were here. And then wow. we, we plugged them in. Cool. So, I think. I mean, that's... It predates our network. And then I'll these sites are... We call these sites... you in that way a bit, Mitt. Yeah. They're l labeled 1027 and 1026. That's based on the cork number. So we've named them after the corks that were there. Mm -hmm. Cool. But they're kind of confusing names for us. Like, they're not very descriptive. Like, I had no idea until you just told me that, so now I know. So then we were just trying to call them Cascadia East and Cascadia West, and now there's going to be a new Cascadia East, and then we yeah. have Cascadia Quiet and Cascadia Loud because we have the hydrophone at, at this site. Oh, boy. Why are you giving them names like Fred? Yeah, well, I think we should just name them after George dogs. Ringo. Or Michelle or something. Like yeah. T-Boss and uh, JB. Ringo. John Paul and Ringo. Cascadia Ringo. I like that. There you go. <laughs> I do. Bar I do Bar like Barkley that. Barkley McJagger. Yeah. <laughs> Can name it after Pete Best. All right, I'm getting pulled there. Yeah. I, that's what I was saying. I'm probably going to have to pull you in some. All right. I'll disengage auto heading. I spun the wrong way, unfortunately. So now we have double wraps. I can do a loop now if you want. No, I got to do a loop. You don't have to do a loop. Okay. But I'm pulled, so I won't be doing that soon. It's all part of my master plan to delay us so that the mooring recovery <laughs> happens on the other shift. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other shift. <laughs> it's dastardly yeah, of you. And then maybe the next one will be on the other shift too. Double trouble. Yeah, if we've cut this by 7.30, I'd be shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Well, prepare to be shocked. Okay. <coughs> nope. No. There's no way. I want positivity. I'm positive that we'll have it cut by 8.30, pending problems. How hard could it be? It's easy. The setup's the hard part getting the ship over and approaching carefully and etc. Uh, don't really see the need for any of that, but no. 
That's why we're on those dicks. 15 meters? Yeah, that's your IP. Probably. Yep. Or it maybe sure is. maybe not. Hard to know. The cork is about 50 meters from the IP. There's nothing really else out here until the IP. That looks too small to be the IP. We are four meters up, just so it's clear of the seafloor, really, but... Okay. That might be the straw. I don't know. I'm still spun around. Yeah. <coughs> They're way back. Yeah. I'm just going to sit and wait now. Let's see what happens with it. Coming in real slow. Looks like Atalanta's on the right side of the ship for the mooring. Does that mean the mooring's going to drift northeast most likely, or...? Okay. How long did it take the last mooring to come up? Did you guys cut it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I heard there was a bit of a safety pin snafu. Yeah, yeah. It's always a bolt. Yeah, I'm sort of trying to remember if it was me who put that tag on tube on three years ago or not. That's a cable. No, there's nothing in the air, mate. It's like a shadow of something, it looks like. There's been nothing on the sonar. Oh yeah. So that's not the morning we want, but we definitely want to be on the north side of it. Yep. Nope. Good eye, Trev.
Yeah. We blew right past the IP then. Did you guys That's even see it? Way off. That nav is way off then. Way off. I guess the ship changed heading. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't realize how much it messes up the nav when the chip, yeah, chip changes heading. Yeah, I had no yeah. idea about that. It happened to us a few shifts ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's super calm day. We'll see it. We'd be hundreds of meters away. We can see it. There's the other one. That's, that's the other one there, isn't it? There we go. Should be. Yeah. Yep. That's it. So. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we have one five meters north, please? Thank you. If we get eyes on it, I could tell you which one. Um, is that not the one we just met? No, maybe not. Has it got more sensitive, has it? That's the connector, yeah, yeah so that's the connector we unplugged, so that's definitely the one we want to cut. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How far out is that? Uh, 40 meters. It's crazy. We just took a heading yeah. earlier tonight. You might want to, if you want to be on this side, you might want to clear that connector to the other side. Uh, sorry guys, I should have stopped the ship earlier. Yeah. Yep. Bridge, nav. Can we have another one zero meters north, please? Thank you.
there it Pulling me up quite hard now. Yep. Yep, coming back down low. I'll need you to come down with me, mate. Keep my heading and you'll come underneath me at some point. Yep. Oh. Let's see how far are we now. We're 30, 35 meters away with Atalanta. That's not bad. Probably a good ship position. Make a forest, I'm telling you. Oh, just wait till there's 70. 70 moorings? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? That's the full neutrino telescope. Not all in one site, though, eh? Yeah, all right here. Seven zero moorings in one spot? Oh, yeah. Remember, remind me to. Um, no, we still got a little wet. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, remind me when the job is coming up to service those, and I'll be sure to be busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know. Thanks. Yeah, good, solid, consistent Atalanta hits on that 35 meters, so we should be good for this now. Coming down with you. Yep. Okay. If this is your happy heading, then you might. Yeah, it's that just back away under on Atlanta. And is that connector going to swing towards you, though? Is there a way to get the connector on the other side? Uh, let's, yeah, we'll stop. We'll assess the situation, see how we feel, and make a plan. Um, yeah, Atlanta's heading is good there. At some point, we're going to want the ship to, let's think about this. Um, want the ship to move north? Uh, no, then we won't, we won't reach. Well, maybe. Yeah, we could go north one more step. Uh, probably 10 meters, and I'll spin Atalanta away. Okay. Yeah, let's do that, please. 
bridge, Nav. And what are your thoughts on the connector, the one that's all dirty? Is what you're saying? Yeah, like when this... Can we have one zero one meters north, up, please? I don't want this to come towards Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, understood. We can do... Uh, we can grab it. First. We can grab it and put it up on top, Dave, if you want. Stick it in through the gap. Yeah. Yeah, if you pass it, that's true. If you pass, pass it, it through, through here... There. Yeah, I like that. Then it'll keep it on the other side. Okay. I'm good for that now if you are, Dave. Yeah, man. Okay. Down light on, you can start approaching. Yeah, I just want to get my camera down. Roger. Go. Can you disable the Atlanta Auto Iris? It's going like crazy. Please, thank you. It's very distracting. Okay, mate, you can yep, give me a minute to adjust well. that. Okay, we'll fly it up, put it wherever I can. I'm bringing this in board. Yeah. Halted. Come inside a wee bit. Yeah, pretty much above the porch now. Sticking through that gap right there. Yeah, I'd like to go one higher if you we can. Go higher? Yeah. I think if you want to go higher, you're going to have to clear the whole junction box. Yeah. That's fine. That's what we did yesterday. Different mooring. Yeah, yes. completely different type of mooring yesterday. Do you don't think it will go? I don't think it will go high enough. Uh, no. It's going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be a it's bit wonky short, up there because the next parallel is quite a bit it's, it's higher up. up where we put okay. the bacon. Okay, I'll put it down here then. Bring this inboard until you approach. Okay, coming in. Okay. I'm ready there if you're good. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Let's get out of there. Close enough. Get that off the cutter. Yep. Go away. Got it. Okay. Okay, I'm cleared and halt oh, halted for real this time. Freeze fail. <laughs> okay, uh, that's probably more of an issue now. Yeah, because there's a loop in it that can get right that's into gonna our sit in the brow. That's great, perfect. Just what we want. If you want with a light jaw to grab and push the the orange, it might fall through the other side. So it really won't reach the top part, eh? It's going to be tough, it's going to be tight, and it's going to just want to fall back at you. So we're spending 30 seconds having a look? Sure. Go for it. But we were just there, we hung a beacon. Coming yeah. It's it. a ways up there. That oily's not that long, especially when you yeah. take into account the bend off the bottom. Understood. I can't put it through that loop there. Uh, I don't, that's going to be tough to get through. Did as in like, go? as in like there's not really a big gap. Am I allowed to put it through there? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Right. I agree it will not reach that upright with the beacon. What about maybe through there? Through, like, here? Yeah. Maybe. Let's try the top one first. Or the, okay. this, the, the this hole. This is That's hung up on a piece of rope in yes, there. Yes, understood. So have to free that first. Me give you more level camera view or ah oh, whatever where are you go now where are you go now is good there you go can i go yeah okay going in okay halted halt halted Coming up. <laughs>
Let me know if you start feeling tugging and I'll move Atalanta away. Should be right here. There you yeah, go. Yeah, understood. Okay, coming in. Okay. Okay, going for it. Yep. I'm happy enough there. You happy with that, AJ? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hold it. See how that looks for the brow. As long as it doesn't fall loose, I guess. Yes. The mooring will probably move up so fast that even if it starts to fall, it won't actually travel downwards. Agreed, yeah, it'll fall. This one first? Uh, yes, agreed, yeah. So next step is cut, correct? Yes. Okay, let's think ahead a little bit. We're gonna get the hydraulic cutter in the jaw. We're gonna cut left then right. So that'll put us at the farthest, the, the closest Atalanta one last. And as soon as that's done, we'll start the ship moving. We can go forward. Um, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, okay. that's current heading. Are they okay. okay with their current heading? Yeah, let me double check. With that. We cut yeah. That one. Bridge now. We're getting ready to cut a mooring loose from the seafloor. Um, once we do that, we would like to start moving. Are you happy with this heading? Okay, I will give you a call when we're ready to move then. Thank you. Okay, this heading's good. Okay, can I have some? No, no, uh, yeah, oh, sorry, are you using that? Sorry, my, was, my bad. Okay. No, nope. there you go. Else. No, I'm not going to screw you up. When you're ready, I'd like camera on cutter. Yep. This one be right about there, I reckon, it's enough. Okay. Back after breakfast. Roger that. Thank you. Maybe we will get it popped by 7.30. We'll delay to 7.31, just so AG's not right. <laughs> doesn't bother me in the slightest. I know. I am going to spin Atalanta now. I'm going to go to port. Just so we don't get tugged in the middle of this. I'm not sure you've quite got enough there. You might need to come further forward. Well, we'll see how it goes. You, you can do what you want with that one now, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Try to ask, and I just forgot that time. Whoopsies. Okay, just let me see the thing. All right. So interesting. It's not a T handle. You've used these before, Dave? Yeah. Do you recommend I grab it like so? Get it right in by your where in. you would grab the T handle anyway. Yeah. That's a handle for a fish, but if you get it in by where you would get a T-handle normally... Like here? the center is fine. I'm just thinking this might get like floppy like this. Maybe that's a feature, yeah. but I'm thinking this, I get it in the T-handle yeah, slot. You, you can. I don't know. The There'll curve. be a lot of weight off center on the craft. Yeah, that's fine. It'll be yeah. hanging down vertically anyway. The curve will screw that up a little for you. Totally. Let's try it out. Some tie wraps. Yeah, I'm ish in the T-handle yeah, slot. Yeah, that one. looks pretty good. See what I mean? Oh, there is the flat part. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll try that. I didn't see the flat part. That was my bad. There you go. Yeah, that will work with that. Yeah, Yep. that's fine. Coming okay. Up. And you got to remember to get it right into the back of the anvil. Roger that. I'm going to flip bubble around. See if I can see it in bubble. Ooh, it might be far. We'll see. Yeah. I'd, I think I'd rather come in. Yeah, it is nice having it stretched out because of the... Um, yeah. Well, mind you. I think you're good. Mm, no. Oh, no. Hoses. Why are those so short? Are they really? Is that, how sh is that how long they are? Or am I wrapped around? Oh no, there's a tie wrap. I'll pull until it tie wrap breaks. Hang on, let me just get a good look. 
Dan did walk me through this. Yeah. It says the tie wrap should just break. So here I am just breaking it. On the end, on the end of the flat tree there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What did he use, like industrial strength? What do we got going on here? Got <laughs> two, there oh, go. there it goes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Like that. There's a weight on it. Yeah, there's and the shackles for weight. In case it gets dropped. Yes. That's good. Okay, I'm going to get a uh, bubble out there as well. Okay, halted. It's too forward. Can you st rotate that so as we can see? Yeah, that would be nice. Um, it'll bring the hoses this side as well, so, right? Come under. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna want that for the second one anyway, regardless. So that's, that's better. Let's see if I can line this up a bit more. Oh, yeah. I can go a bit closer to give you that bubble. I have if enough. If you want it. I have enough. Yeah. I will take a video zoom, please. Roger that. A bit more. Good there. There you go, yeah. Right on the back. I think she's on the back. Yeah. Uh, you want to hit the go button there? It's on the Herc Hydraulics page. It has been relabeled. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, knife. knife <laughs> it's called cut. knife. Knife cut. Cutting mooring right now. Do we need to tell the bridge? I know it's not going to come up after one. We're telling them to move the second the other one cuts. Okay, we have permission to release. It's a good question. Do we have permission to release? I didn't catch that. Bridge now. We're getting ready to cut the mooring. Um, do we have permission to cut it? Oh, okay, thank you. Thumbs up, let's do it. Give her the beans, Dave. Beans are coming. Oh, it's got hydraulics. Okay, oh, 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 yeah. Fast. Step Love out a little that. bit, video. Right to that. Bang. So, right. Lynette, as soon as this one goes, yeah, uh, right call right. that ship move in, please. Track a line. I would get you the ship it. moving now. Sure, you could do that. Yeah. Bridge, nav. Can we track a line forward 0 0.3 knots, please? 0 0.5. 0.5. Oh. Can yeah. we make that 0.5 knots? Thank you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Roger, understood. Okay, you should be good. Okay, can you do a quick look up in the light bar just to yeah. confirm? <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. How's it looking? The stills, stills cam's clear. Yeah, yeah. we're okay. Don't stills see anything stills. I'm going to let that sit there. And okay. Push it. this here. Yeah. Okay, I'm clear to cut when you are, Dave, if you're happy. Yeah. As soon as that's cut, I'm out. Yep, understood. We'll stow on the go. On good the cutting. way. Cut, released. Boom. We're free. Nice. Let's go. It's clear. Full wide video. Full wide. Okay. Yeah, we'll stow this on the go. Yep. Let's get up in the air. Yeah. You're in your porch view. I'm going to play with your camera while you're doing that. Yeah. Gonna come back towards that Atlanta for now. Yeah. Whatever you want with the cameras now, mate. I'm just trying to freeze Any it. of them. I'm, go. I'm good. I can use yeah, right. Okay. Can you watch Delta, please? Yep. A little tunnel visioned here. <laughs> I'll do your job. You do mine. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Love it. All right. We're four meters up. I'm off the stern of the vessel. We're, sh we're safe. We're good. Okay. Are we keeping yeah. a hold of this on the way up? Uh, it's a pretty nice stow oh, yeah. point. He's got a thing in there. 
We could put a magnum on it for the surface, but I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Just give it a bump, just check. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's yep. got the hockey pucks behind it and the aluminum channel, so. Okay. Confirming we're not doing any niskins or nothing on the way up, right? Confirmed. All the way up. Let's keep. Roger, thank you. Arm is stowed and secure. We can magnum later. What was the time on that release? Like 7.32, eh? Okay, right. let's uh, start coming up. Yep, coming Come. to you. Okay, you can spin to starboard. Do you mind if I put um, Adelanto's Auto Iris back on? It looks like it's doing it anyway. Yeah. Just for my sake, I'm going to throw it back on if that's all right sure, with you. Sure, yeah, yeah. Just one less variable. Bridge now. Light coming on. Mooring is released, and we are coming up off the bottom with the vehicles. We expect to be ready for recovery in about one hour and 45 minutes. Thank you. I'm just going to motor out. Yeah, right away that. from you. Come up slow. You got beacon tracking on high yes. back? Nice. <coughs> what do you guys think? Now that we have the cutter, should we just have all of our moorings steel lines? It's not bad. Yeah. Better than those, like, it's hockey better than things. those releases, eh? Yeah. 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 Did Let's you buy it or rent it? No, we bought it. It's ours. Nice. Don't break yeah. it. No. You're breaking a handy cutter, two-inch cutter. It's good. Yeah, yeah like that w that wire would hold all of our moorings. That's high. I mean, th and this thing can go way way bigger as well, the cutter. And that's only running off 1,500 PSI. Yeah. No, I think we should just have just slings at the bottom of our moorings. Slings, you say? Like wire slings? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The fibrous ones might cause you grief. No, 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 yeah. Please, we'll never make it through those. <laughs> Please. Please. Just so that, be careful, though. Send them down the hands if, you, if you do that with, like, you know, regular steel wire rope, it frays open and it, un it unwraps itself. Mm. It can become a real snagging hazard. But this one's jacketed, so you think that'll yeah, be Yeah, that's right? perfect, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, that's a good tip. Our RC mooring, I mean, well, the RC mooring backbone cable is jacketed, but we probably wouldn't cut the backbone. We'd cut, like, an anchor line. But, yeah, we could get them jacketed. Can you drive forward, please, Dave? I'm seeing the tether below you in starboard cam. Got it. I'm just... I'm hauling in. Kind of wary of not trusting the nav now. And yeah. knowing where shit is, you know what I mean? Absolutely. There you go, streamed out behind. That's good, thank you. I trust the navigator, I just don't trust. Aw, I appreciate that. <laughs> just in case you were getting worried. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Well, two minutes late. An hour and two minutes late. An hour and two minutes late, but, but that's fine. Two minutes late after the, hey, it's your dime. the extra transect. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not my dime. It is all of our Canadians' it's dimes. all of our Canadians' dimes. Yeah, you Americans are off the hook, but we're paying. How far up are we? 62, so we're still not out in the forest yet. No. But that should be well out of my way now. Is it speaking showing up yeah. on high pack? Yes. The green thing? The red thing. The red thing. Oh, the dots. Okay. It's just covered. What? That's the beacon. It's like That's a little Atalanta. fish looking thing. That's Herc. Okay. It seems like Atalanta is not really moving away from the beacon, though. That's correct. Okay. 
We called the ship move in nine minutes ago. And uh, we'll see you movement soon. Okay. I guess the mooring's probably above the tether, so it's just the 6-8 you have to clear. Yeah, the mooring's long gone from the tether. 6-8 yeah. is, the, is the gotcha, but we're good. Yeah. start coming up. Nice. Private bites. What? <coughs> Watching the sonar dying screen here. And it says private bites. Hmm. Hmm. So what's your best guess for uh, breaching? You see? Well, it's the lasers. It's all right. Yeah. Turn it well, I mean, I could probably do some math. Things. Yeah. <laughs> it's been cut for eight minutes, and it's from 20, it's about 1,000 meters up, so it'll be another... It's already gone up 1,000 meters? Yeah, it'll be another 15 minutes, oh, Wow. Wow. No, I lied. Not a thousand meters. What's the depth here? Twenty six. Yeah, yeah twenty six. Nine hundred. Almost a thousand meters. Yeah, eight fifty or something. So a thousand meters in ten minutes. Yeah. So it'll be like yeah, twenty eight minutes to the surface. Thing leaves like a stepdad. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. Beacon's lower down too, so it's actually like. Yeah, the top of it's gonna yeah, be another 150 gonna meters higher than that. So. Yeah. But if we're calculating rate. Yeah. Then the seabed. Yeah. Yeah, we're well over 100 off bottom now, so. Yeah. All good. better. So what's the plan, AJ? We're going to get on deck, we're going to recover the mooring, and then are we diving again and releasing the other one today? 
Yeah, that's the plan in our third and hopefully final dive at Cascadia 1027. We will do a two-wire operation to lower the quad hydrophone array. Okay. Um, and swap it with the hydrophone array that's down there. So there's like an identical one down there. And then also release a mooring? And then at the end, we'll release the mooring, yeah. So we'll do the two-wire. We'll bring the quad hydrophone array on that deck. Then we'll head over to that last mooring, unplug it, and pop that one, recover, Roger. get it on deck. And then I think we're boogieing to Barkley. Okay. I think that's all. Th oh, no, we're going to do maybe some multi-beaming first. Oh, yeah, wow. I did hear something about multi-beaming. Yeah, we're going to try to... There, there's. We're going to try to lay a cable to a new site at Cascadia that's east of the node um, for our running our running tide project and the Belgian magnetometer project. And so I think there's uh, some desire to multi-beam that area so we can get a sense of whether it's suitable. Roger. So it looks like it's just eight hours of multi-beaming followed by a seven hour transit to Barkley. That's almost 15 hours. That's 15 hours, and depending on whether we're on or behind schedule right now, we have that as going from 8.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night. So, not much of, you, not much of our <laughs> shift. <laughs> Mostly the other shift. Just the during the day? Huh. You say 8.30 in the morning till when? Till 11.30 p.m. Seems like prime morning popping time. Sounds like what? Prime mooring popping time. Yeah. Do like popping a mooring. It's pretty fun. On here we've got mooring popping time being midnight tonight. That seems... That seems a bit weird. A bit weird. Has it got a light yeah. on it? No. Nope. Perfect. Yeah, what you could do go it wrong? in the dark. No oh. moon. I lied. Not midnight. Ah... Uh, He's a liar. 12.30. Why are we not using you, the 12-hour time? You They're mean the dive occurs then? And we just do ops throughout the night? And yeah, then pop it the in the morning? Yeah, two-wire stuff. Yeah. Right now, the way that the schedule is, and it's probably just that because we don't know how ahead or behind schedule we're going to be, we didn't bother making changing the plans. But right now, the way that the schedule is, it shows us diving at 12.30 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. And finishing the dive at 4:30 a.m. So I lied. We're not. We're gonna. We're gonna dive at noon. Finishing the dive at 4:30 a.m. means you've already popped the mooring at 2:30 a.m. Yeah, and then deck ops has us 4:30. Yeah, because that's ROV. So it's 4:30 a.m. Yeah, 4:30 a.m. seems dark. Yeah, I feel like that's maybe two hours dark. Yeah. First light 630, at 530, 630 bright. 630 on deck would be great. But we're because we're an hour late already, I bet you we could be another hour late by the time we get to that step. Here's hoping. I mean, if this thing's coming up at... Yeah, you love that. If this thing's coming up at 20 minutes, and if we're considering 630 first minimum pop time, then we're not popping the morning before 6, which means on deck at 8. For, for oh, you mean because we want to get eyes on it? I mean, I would think you'd want eyes on it. I don't, don't let me speak for you. Let me tell you how yeah. you live your life. But, hey, uh, you have to do a hydrophone swap or something here, too? Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'm catching up. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, if the weather's as calm as it is today, there's not much risk of it wandering beyond what we can see. Sure, I guess you do have a beacon. So you can do a beacon. And it's on the bottom of a 125 meter mooring. I don't know how what close we have to be to ping it. It's gone. There's no ship anymore. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that, AJ. But um, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm sure we can find stuff to do if we need to stay down a little longer. How far are we now shipped from uh, mooring? Like that. Ship from mooring. Looks like 250 meters or so. 230? Yeah. 230. We could probably hold position there. Okay. Start streaming again later. Bridge nav. Can we hold position here, please? This morning's going to be on the surface. Like 
Two yeah. minutes. Yep. Already at 900 meters. It's fast. It's so fast. A thousand meters in 10 minutes. 6,000 meters an hour. 6K an hour. That's really fast. Oh, you're hurting my brain. Wow. Hopefully it just flies onto our aft deck and we don't have to pull it up. That'd be nice, yeah. Oh, we were streaming ahead now or not, so I, I need to... You can do whatever you'd like. Well, I got no inputs other than Hertz. Great so job. That's fine. It's fine for a while, I guess. As oh, yeah. Atalanta drags down back. Keep an eye on her. <clears throat> I'm really angry. You should be. Yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, I'm just going to say why, even though you just... Did dismissed you? Dismissed yeah. It. Go for it. I'm going to go anyway. See if I care. I don't expect you to. <laughs> um, it's a great start. Yeah. As a breakfast, and because it's Mr. Renato's birthday, we talked about him a little bit, and I learned two things about him. Oh, no. That's not, that's like really, like crossing the line things, like important life things about him. Oh, yeah, you can't be doing that. No, I'm going to have to... The trick is to not learn anything about anyone. That's what I'm saying. But especially, Renny and I, have a, we have a pact almost, a blood pact, to not ever get to know each other properly just through bits and jokes. And it's ruined. <laughs> all, because oh, he had no. a all because he had a birthday. The curse of true friendship. Well, one thing you've learned is his birthday is today. So that's, that's a bummer. I'll never remember that. It's okay. <laughs> Good point. Sure. But I'll remember the other things. It's going to stick in my mind forever. Yeah. Mostly because I'm so mad about it. Hmm. You're going to take over for me too, Steph. You're going to take over for me too, Steph. <laughs> Steph, can you take over for me? No, it's too much. Too many seats. Too many hats. I want to drive the RV. It's fly. Yeah, <laughs> you're already cut off. Cut, <laughs> cut. I want to steer the RV. <laughs> it's too late. I'm locked in. Push the levers. They're joysticks. If you can't get the terminology right after this many cruises. Use the AJ. Grabinator. Do you want to try the Grabinator, <laughs> the AJ? Grabinator, yeah. <laughs> Look at your radar screens. and The, the monkey's nice. arms. Yeah. Well, to be fair... I'll probably call, but if I was sitting back there, I'd miss na name all of his instruments. Yeah, absolutely. You just pick three letters and it's probably right. Go we'll grab the PBB. Yeah. <laughs> BBB. Put it in the ZT me. <laughs> Can you not think of three <laughs> different letters? <laughs> I've said all the letters I know. Now I'm going to go to me. I got one off and it used two of the same. And then P -P -P I, and then the next ZT one I couldn't even. Me. <laughs> your pilot speaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. That, that was excellent. Renny would have loved that one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Alphabet's tricky. I get it. It's very tough. <sighs> I didn't want to accidentally say an acronym that was a thing. I was trying to you, actively avoid it. You did great at that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> okay, calm down. Blue water. Hey. There's a question oh, that came games. in. A couple. Who's ready? Who is ready? Who is ready? Who is ready? The question. Who, who is who, anybody really? <gasps> um, hello from Texas. Where is the control room that I'm seeing in channel three located? So this this control room is located on the EV Nautilus, which is our floating vessel out here in the middle of the ocean outside of Vancouver, British Columbia. 
Um, does anyone on the ROV team know why Okeanos is delayed in Kodiak? Small mm -hmm. ROV world, so thought someone might know. I don't know. Don't know. Any more dives today? Yes. Yes. Ooh, Steph, tell us more. I think we're gonna dive to get the final mooring. Straw one. What does straw mean? That, I need to look up. String. What? I know that's one part of it. String theory. Straw in the first letter, the first letter stands for string? Yes, and then I want to say it's like string the, wrong, length. Th the wrong thing, which is probably acoustic wiring. But the next letter I, T? to oh, it's ST we'll look for string. in our dive plan and saying that. I don't know if it's even in here. I saw, oh, I saw it in an email. Digging around in the email. String tension, really awesome water. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Are you going to be strings me for absorption length in water experiment? I was. I think it was for determining the optical properties of the water column to then set up for a neutrino Hold experiment. Hold on. Wait a second. Strings for absorption. Sign out. Yeah, they kind of ignore the L in length. Yeah, they totally got straw. Marvel trash. The so, yeah, they that they made a good choice. <laughs> Vehicles are ascending, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yes. Really hope Randy has to do birthday push ups. Ooh. Oh yeah. What's he up to now? How many push-ups is he up to? And has he given any back? What do you mean given um, any back? Like done them. I think it was like 320 or something. Okay, has he done any yet? I doubt it. I saw okay. him lie down the other day and usually you gotta push yourself up. Oh, give him one. Okay, give so one for that, 319. yeah. 319. And you know, we could say he pushed himself up out of bed on the days that he was late, so one but for each But only day. the days he okay. was late, not the days he wasn't. No, those days Three, don't count. 317. <laughs> All right, okay. We'll give him one he for his got birthday. Three times. Birthday, yeah, good no. call. Yeah, that's generous. Three Very day. kind of you. <laughs> no, we'll give him one for every year of his existence. Oh, mm. come on. Which I don't want to know. No. What? That's too much, though. I mean, then you'd only have 100 left to do. Watch change. Uh, he's quick. That's funny. Because uh, he's old man maps. Because he's old man maps. Cool. Quick draw. Are you still getting Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ed. Good morning. <laughs> Do you see it yet? I mean, have they seen it? At, oh, it should be 10 meters down. Oh, they have seen it? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about doing the photo thing. 
Photoshops his photo to write it in. Yeah. Shows him. Pocket coffee. You throw it in there, boom, coffee. <laughs> nope. Here. It's magic. Oh, here we go. 1920 push ups. Oh boy, birthday boy. Yeah, birthday it's all good. Because they're singing in the mess. Oh, like he's, yeah. he's still in bed. Oh wait, maybe not. He got it about 37 seconds ago. He uh, <laughs> he rolls out of bed with headphones on, headset on. Fully dressed and shod. Yep. Shod. 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 Bat. No. Bat pole. Yeah. Shod. Shod. It's gotta be shod. Uh, let's see if we can find this thing in the camera. You guys are deep, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, Buddy. Have, you have no idea. I can turn your down light off. I think it's slightly off the ports. Uh, starboard side. Starboard, eh? Uh, sorry. Way, way aft. Very slightly starboard. So right where he's looking, we just can't see Probably it. more aft, is my guess. <coughs> right behind the yellow. There it is. Hey, there, it there it is. is. I see the divers are there with it. Right on. I can't believe how long it took for them to get a break. You know, they've been down there with it for about a year now. <laughs> yeah. It's a long, long, long hitch. Long, long stint, yeah. Stint, stint. I said that long weird. Stint. Shift and stint, <laughs> and I put them together. <laughs> At least you didn't, you know. Yeah. Stint. Take a big stint. I had a manager once who was trying to tell us he understood that we've been under a lot of, uh, he was, he was trying to say the word to it. Yeah, and he said stresser. Nice. <laughs> I was like. That's it, man. I'm using that from now on. Stretcher. Yeah. Here's under, to working well under pressure. Under, under stretcher. Yeah, I like that. No one's going to do it? Dun, 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 uh, dun. Come go. on. Come on. Too easy. Good morning. What? Good morning. What? It's Lauren. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. The top of the morning. Well, who, who was on... It was just there. It's like a plus It was Mal and I. Huh. Just scroll that down a little bit. Yeah, just turn it down. Yeah. Just go oh, ahead. Yeah. Keep going, Where'd keep she going, go? Did going. she leave? Hmm? What if you just turned it a bit, Ed? <laughs> All right. How you doing back there? Good. Good. Great. Glad to hear it. Mm. Excellent breakfast. Ranger 2 is low on resources and should be restarted. <gasps> what? <coughs> what? What? Reason. Process memory. Private bites. Later. Take less bites. It's private, dude. Sorry. You're the one that yelled it over SPL. <laughs> How come... What do I gotta do? Oh, there we go. What's happening up there, front row? Nothing. Uh, ascending. Ascending. Why don't you sh shazam it? I know. That's funny. What's happening back row? Steph Not and I much. holding down the fort. 
And we're working really hard, Steph. <laughs> Lots of annotations. What are you annotating? Every 100 meters. Just to just say what depth it is. Trevor, just FYI, I'm doing stuff. Neat. I don't care what you do. That's not true. <coughs> Steph, we're doing this. This is our video survey, correct? We're not surveying right now. Okay. It's just a scent. Should be much quicker. Awesome. And I don't know if it was mentioned, but the um, the straws are already up. They popped up on the water. We got one straw moving on the surface, and one will be deployed on the next dive. Or deployed. What's the other one? Released. Recovered. Yeah. yeah. You're getting that up-down thing. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> trouble, man. Is the uh, next one all ready to come up? Is it all prepped, or we got to do all we the... We got to do a little bit. Little all bit the prep. things. A little bit of prep. Did we already sample the other one? Yeah. The yeah. I thought and we, we did surveyed everything. it. Oh, we got to put a beacon on it? A beacon, and I think an unpluggage as we well. We haven't even unplugged it? I didn't unplug it. Did you unplug it? I thought the other shift unplugged it. <laughs> Guess we'll have to survey and find out. Uh, wait. Uh, It'd be a bit ridiculous if we spent all that time and didn't no, unplug it. Uh, if they did, it was between midnight and three. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because that was a very long descent. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first. I thing they don't did, think it's maybe unplugged. Maybe the survey. All right. Not unplugged, Raj. <coughs> so we need to put another fire position in the Fletcher on the and the install the and the attach the yeah yeah the and the thing mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, bye. And the cool thing about these um, moorings is they are um, an experiment to ten years away. Look for neutrinos. So we've got some collaborators. He's going to take sixty minutes Germany. to eat breakfast. It's long. Pretty excited about this uh, this recovery. <laughs> Bye. Trevor is going. Dave is in. Aw. Oh, Dave smells good. He said Dave smells good. It's the bacon. I put on my eau de bacon this morning. I just, yeah, I just roll myself in bacon fat every morning. Every <laughs> 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 I don't know why. Yeah. So it's his birthday, he just doesn't have to show up? Amazing. Apparently Probably he hung thinks over. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. You know, it was a heavy night last night. I sat up working until like 1 or one thirty, and I saw Rennie go on the bed at that point. And I was like, aren't you up kind of late for your age? <laughs> what was his response? Uh, and he went to bed. <laughs> his his to response bed. was, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, why? <coughs> oh, I've had so much coffee this morning. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Check one, two. Got to reset that compeller after the dive.
So has there been any chatter about the straw experiment on SPL? Uh, the one we recovered yesterday? Yeah, or earlier today. Hey. AJ knows a lot about it, so he was he was describing it. Very cool. I think to the last shift. Don't ever tell AJ he knows a lot about anything. <laughs> yeah, just straight to it. Then he'll, he'll just turn into Dirk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. I'm gonna capture that as a sound That's bite. like a double-barreled <laughs> insult right there. <laughs> two birds, one stone. Yeah, you got two birds stoned at once. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah, Are you please. hearing this? Lock out on a high <laughs> note. Mic drop. Well, <clears throat> in their defense, they are both very competent people. Yes. What? <laughs> it's true. Yes. Oh, I, I forgot we had the nice person on the <laughs> microphone back there. <laughs> Good morning, Dave. How are you? <laughs> Most excellent. Yes. Most excellent. I think uh, we're way down too happy for this time of the morning. <laughs> my uh, my relief for the next leg, getting uh, the Nautilus back to Honolulu, uh, when we were going over our our port call schedule and our handoff and and how we were working all that out, he said the only special request is that he have time to uh, check in with da his mate Dave. So. But, uh, Aww. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Me and Dave. Totally. Me and yeah. Dave and Dave? Yeah. Dave and Dave? Dave squared. Well, that's... Mr. Robbins. That's he's, pretty cute. He's a top bloke. I now do understand all the things he said about Ed, though. <laughs> and Steph, do you know the plan after the this um, mooring recovery? I think we dive again for the other mooring recovery. So and then there's like a hydrophone so deployment or right. swap. Gotcha. <clears throat> Do we have to recover between the uh, yeah. second hydro or second boring oh. pop and the hydrophone swap? I'll have to check one sec. It's a lot of blue water. It is. Uh, <coughs> you mean like in terms of like, can we send the other hydrophone down? Well, if we pop so the it's mooring, it's going up on a wire. Yeah, but if right. it, if we pop the mooring, then we have to recover the ROV. Yep. Yeah, so yeah maybe we'll do it in the other order. Hydrophones, are hydrophones first. first. Yeah, yep. it might be that. That's what AJ was saying earlier. Well, well, that makes much more sense. Yeah. That makes me feel like vehicle on deck around 2.30 in the morning tomorrow, and then a 2 transit. 2.45, yeah. Yeah, 2.45, transit to the next site, probably like a 12-hour transit. I don't know if we're doing any of the moorings in the uh, straight on to Fuca either. I uh, think this is the end of the moorings. Okay. This is the last of moorings. We can't recover any more because we can't put those floats anywhere, I don't think. The deck is getting... Um, There's got to <coughs> be just a quota or something that's full by now. The deck is getting fairly packed. Could you ask for better mooring weather, though? Man, did we nail that. The weather, you said? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yesterday was pretty magical. We saw a shark. I was very excited. Sure did. Jumped right out of the water and told uh, Dirk its species. <laughs> well, Dirk seems to be so confident about what kind of shark it was, so that's what I assume. That's because he's from Sharkville. What what was what did he say it was? I don't remember. A trope shark. A witch? Trope? 
trope shark soup fin isn't a trope like a like a goof like i think so yeah to, so maybe that's his way of he's not smart enough for that <laughs> he couldn't come up with that right to cover himself hmm well <clears throat> I saw it. It was pretty small, so I thought it was baby shark. Do do. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Wow. Be really cool to see a basking shark. So, how is everyone feeling after? It's really hard not to do too this. many days together. Ah, it's like it's been going great. Yeah, I'm only sick of most of you. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to all of us. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Don't worry, you're on the list. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> on which list? The not sick of or the sick of? Is it flip flop? <laughs> I'll keep that to myself till the last day or second last Aww. day. At least. Doesn't seem fair. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Hmm. So, do you just want to do any shift? Cool. Do you want us to send somebody down? Or you no, can just he, go down. He, he texted <laughs> me. He's on his way. He texted you what? It's my birthday. Have a yeah. good, have a good second yeah. shift. Enjoy your shift. <laughs> Enjoy your extended shift. <laughs> For my birthday, I got you a second shift. <laughs> That's a lot of push-ups. I know. We'll still give them the four. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, <clears throat> surprisingly, we have listeners from all over the place watching us right now. So, shout out to the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, China, Puerto Rico, Netherlands, oh, Indonesia, Greece, France, Ecuador, Denmark, and Belgium. Nice. Hello. I really enjoyed working at uh, Puerto Rico. You yeah. enjoyed working there? Yeah, that was really nice. Where? Puerto Rico. I don't think I've been there. Roosevelt you, Road. You, sorry, you don't uh, think San you've Juan. been there? Yeah. Correct. Isn't I don't that think <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I don't Isn't know. it one of those things that you either know or don't know? Well, Honestly, I, I might have been. I don't think so. Hmm. You've been to Cuba. Yeah, recently been to Cuba, but been around the Caribbean quite a bit. I might mm -hmm. have lost track. I don't know. I like the Caribbean. Okay, so you say Caribbean, and you're English, so is that the proper way to say it? Well, not Caribbean? There's no ribs in it. I'm not English either. <sighs> Irish. I know, but you you, you to really offend me. You constantly <laughs> say that... You're educated because you're from the UK. No problem. Better educated than yow. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I miss your cackle. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's just a low bar. Got it. Yeah. All right, everyone. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. On headset. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Renny. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Where have you been? Happy birthday, mate. Well uh. done.
There was so many jokes at your expense in the last 19 oh, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good <laughs> on your birthday. Yay. The reduction in day late for being late wasn't a joke, though. Right, right. Yeah, that one wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but that's actually coming off the invoice. Yeah. Yeah. Your birthday, we got you a morning. <laughs> yeah. You can no, have this we got morning, you a, we got you. <laughs> we got you a van full of... Uh, Right. Happy people yes. to hang out with for the next hour. Still got the auto head on. Oh. I do. You no, do? this has. I don't like that. No. That but needs to come off, huh? Yes, yes. It does, it's not a huge deal. Just keep unless an eye I, on these. Unless I start doing this. Yeah. yeah they're all right. We're good. I'm gonna uh, just put a little lateral on. Stay in the middle there. Yeah. I just don't like that coming up on a no a lifting no. wire. Yeah. For sure. I might end up slowing down, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. Yeah, all right. She was so mad. <laughs> That's how I like to start my birthdays uh, off is everyone being mad at me. I can't have a good day. I can't have a good thing. <laughs> I can't. This is why I can't have a good thing. <laughs> Did you have a good sleep? No, it wasn't even good. Oh man. Josh has the same alarms as me, so I think I just was like, ignore. Why is he not getting <laughs> up? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, this guy keeps not getting up. It's, and meanwhile, my hand is like, nope. <laughs> For your birthday, we got you an increased heart rate. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. And, See you later. and the ability not to sleep well. That also comes with aging. Goodbye. Hey. Um, Hi. What's up? Okay. Nope, nope, we're good.